I've forgotten what they were called. <laughs> Ground, one, two, left, pushback approved. Q-Rex, nin, 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 seven. What? You know what would be dead good? If I unmuted my microphone. So, I guess, hello everybody, welcome to Chess Dracot Media, welcome to Tower Simulator 3. I'm playing at Dubai, as you would have seen by now. We're going to be doing giveaways, basically. Uh, let me just pause time and bring you up to speed here. So, <laughs> I'm so sorry about this. We're going to be doing giveaways of product codes, three of them for Dubai, three of them for KLAS as well in Las Vegas, and all you need to do is pay attention to the video, watch said video, and let us know within what minute on this clock that we have here we handle certain aircraft, what flight number. Um, I'm basically going to ask the question, when did X flight number get handled, within what minute, and then you'll see it on that clock there and be able to tell me. Give us your Discord username in the comments as well below. Please don't go adding each other and trolling each other. I know that people like to get off on that sort of thing. And eventually we will pick a winner and give out three product codes. So if you get the question right, then you could win, of course, a code for this airport. I do ask that you don't enter, though, if you do already own the airport. I know that you could potentially give it out to your friends or whatever, but still, I really want it to go to people that haven't got the airport yet, that haven't put the money into buying it, and just win it genuinely in a competition like this. You know, I, I, I just want to be able to give back like that and feel there, feel the same as well. You know, we want to be able to give that to people and get the engagement on videos like this. So that's how we're going to go about and do it. Anyway, time to get back up to speed. I'm revisiting Dubai because I wasn't very good at this one last time that I played it, so I want to make sure that I can get it right and potentially give you a good experience of what it's like to control this airfield. I did a stream on this airport a while ago, not long after it came out actually, and completely butchered it. I made a really, really big faff of it and didn't do a very good job at all. My air freshener has just gone off in this office and it's so powerful I can barely speak now. It's good timing, isn't it? Let's see what we've got around us then. Emirates 803 Super with information hotel. Whoa. Requesting push and start. Other than the shadows doing their thing because I've got my graphics on low. Where is everyone? Whoa. There's nobody here. I suppose this is the thing with Emirates and the big stuff. Is that one of the blue ones? No, it's not. With a lot of the big stuff, it's all long flights, so you know they're not really around that often. They're in and out a lot less frequently. Emirates 803 Super, pushback approved, expect runway 1 2 right. Ground 1 2 right, pushback approved. But it's really dead. Emirates 803 Super. That's odd. Really odd. There's a load of the Fly Dubai things over there. There's a lot of nav lights and stuff over there, so I know we're going to get a few planes from there coming out soon. Doesn't look like there's many nav lights down here. You always get some very interesting airlines at this terminal, though, so I want to have a look at this. There's a Saudi 777, very shiny one as well at that. An Egypt Air 787, uh, and then we've got an A320 Neo there from Indigo. We've got, whose is that? Jazeera. I've never seen that before. A Jazeera A321 is that, or is it just an A320? Ethiopian A350, very gorgeous looking aircraft. Looks like they've updated the windows on the front of that as well, which looks better than it used to. We've got, uh, a, is that a Cebu or Chibu Pacific A330? That's nice to have. We've also Dubai got ground. Air Blue, Sky Dubai, Sky Dubai as well, Hotel. another Request Saudi Arabian 777. And then we've got some Spice Jet. Oman as well, that Oman 73 is absolutely gorgeous. I love that livery. Great looking aircraft. And then who are you? We've got Air Astana as well. Okay. Fly Dubai 1829. Sky Dubai 1829. Pushback approved. Expect runway 12 left. Emirates Ground. Super One should be good to go in just a sec. Sky Dubai and let's Dubai make sure we manage the strips Emirates as well. That's something I'm really bad for doing. I always forget strips. 
Emirates 803 Super, runway 12 right via Kilo. There we go. So we simplify their right path. Rather than go down there, then across, we get them to go straight onto Kilo. They've got a bit of a tight turn as they get to this point, but I think they'll be all right. And then Sky Dubai should be pushing back any moment now from over there. It's that one. There you go. They're pushing back. I'm amazed, though, at how quiet it is. We don't have anybody on radar yet, either, so no arrivals as such showing up. I was planning on this episode being an uncut one again, but to be honest with you, I might have to cut some of the silence out of some of these. There's the Emirates A380. Crawling its way out. Emirates have just updated their livery in the last week or so, actually. They've got now red winglets on and they've got a bit more of a detailed pattern in the design on the tail. So there's like little strikes and little marks in it as well. It gives it a little bit more depth and Dubai a bit more ground. of a feel. Sky Dubai 1829 ready to taxi. I don't know why I'm doing that when I can just do that. Sky Dubai 1829 a runway 12 left via November. Runway 12 left via November. Sky Dubai 1829. Okay, they've been given their instructions. I'm so sorry for having my microphone muted at the beginning though. I don't know why it was muted to be honest. Because <laughs> I always do a sound check and, you know, a little bit of a vocal warm-up before I go talking for hours on end when I do these videos. And it was unmuted then, so I don't know if I've pressed something wrong on my stream deck or something else, but yeah, sorry about that. While it's quiet, I wanted to have a look at the Fly Dubai 737s because they are so, so tasty. Another gorgeous livery. A lot of the Sort of Middle Eastern liveries are great as well. There's an Air India Express 737. I do have to have my graphics turned right down though on this airport, unfortunately. I have a NVIDIA RTX 2070 and even that can't really handle the amount of stuff that goes on at these airports. So it does get turned down, unfortunately. Sky Dubai will be ready to go in a minute. Ah, they're going to go right to the end actually, so I guess that's going to give us a bit more time. There is the A380 on its way out as well. No arrivals yet, though, by the look of it. Oh, we do have one. It is Emirates 934. What are you going to be? It's a Boeing 777-200. Sorry, a 300, I believe, which is the 77W. W standing for Whopper because it's absolutely massive. I was just talking to a friend of mine this morning about Boeing 777s, actually, as well. He went to Manchester Airport the other day for the first time and saw one for the first time in person and was amazed at how big they are. And that's what's funny about these... Two-engined aircraft, you know, your A350s, your 787s, 777s, 76s. The size difference, you see them on their own and you think there's 73s and A320s, you know, they're a bit smaller. And then you get the bigger stuff like your A330s as well. And you think they're all a similar size. But 777s, I think the 777X is actually going to be longer and wider than a 747. That's just how big a 777 is. It's remarkable. Fly Dubai 1829, a runway 12 left. Sky Dubai 1829, a runway 12 left, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Let's get our first departure out of here for the day, please. Sky Dubai 1829, -er, runway 12 left, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Runway 12 left cleared for immediate taking for upon reaching. Don't know why it didn't register the first one. Don't know if you saw anything, but Sky Dubai one eight two. I didn't like it. You can just see him there out the corner of our screen. Taxiing onto the runway. Super is just there as well. Whoa! Fast taxi. Emirates eight zero three super runway one two right line up and wait. We'll wait for Sky Dubai to get out of there as well. Any more arrivals? Emirates 803 no. Super. Dubai Tower. Emirates 9 or 3 4 heavy on final one to left. They're going to go and taxi on while Sky Dubai takes off. I'm going to leave a bit of space between the two of them because we've got the luxury of giving them space here because, I mean, there's nothing about at all. So we can get them lined up and get them ready to go. And then we'll have Sky Dubai taking off to their left-hand side. There they go. I was going to say they'll probably rotate and be up in the air before they even get to where the A380 is. And there goes our 737. Okay. 
Let's get the A380 out of there as well, shall we? Emirates 803 Super, runway 12 right, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Runway there they go. 12 right, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Emirates 803 Super. Even though it's a virtual version, it's still a very impressive aircraft, isn't it? The A380, I do love them. I do love them. The king of the sky. Emirates 934 Heavy, runway 12 left, clear to land. Runway 12 left clear to land. Emirates 9 or 3 4 heavy. 737's long gone up there. A380 going behind it. Won't have to worry about wake turbulence or anything like that. It's basically a massive housing estate on wheels, isn't it? Taking their time rolling, though. They'll be up by here at least. Or will they? Yeah, there you go. Up they go. If you've never seen an A380 take off in person, I strongly recommend that you go to the nearest airport where you will see one and just go and witness it. It is a marvel of human engineering, the Airbus A380. It's very impressive. So not a lot going on, I'm afraid. I was hoping for more, but we do not have a whole amount going on. The Sky Dubai stuff over there is going to get moving. I think that Air India Express is one of them that's going to be getting some movement on the go soon. We've only got one other Emirates aircraft down here, actually, which is a Boeing 777. They do have the nav lights on, though. And even down there as well, there's nothing. So we may get a lot of arrivals at some point soon, or we're not going to see a whole lot on this shift, to be honest with you. We've got a 777 coming in now. We're going to actually go and shift across the airfield and go and have a look at that. Anything that pops up in this time while we're watching this isn't going to be that urgent that we're going to make a massive mistake anyway, to be fair. We've got a lot of tidy room around us to get this done. I just noticed this sand at the side of the concrete. It's very wavy. I didn't notice that previously. Did not notice that previously. Interesting. Excuse me. Here comes Emirates. Big triple seven. Dubai ground. Sky Dubai Get down, three, three with information hotel. Requesting push and start. There you go. Classy. Very classy. Massive, massive wagon. Hard on the brakes. Reverses out. Spoilers up. Love it. Oh, they still haven't fixed those windows, unfortunately. But that's a FedEx MD-11F. Love that. Love an MD-11. Here's the noisy 777, which will turn off to the right. We've got somebody wanting pushback, though, have we not? Yes, we have. Sky Dubai 33, pushback approved. I expect runway 12 left. Ground, 12 left, pushback approved. Doesn't make me eye now. Doesn't Sky go well, Dubai 33. Emirates 934 Heavy, taxi to ramp via Mike. Yeah. Taxi to ramp via Mike. Don't know Mike. what taxiway Emirates that is. Nine or three, four heavy. What taxiway is that? Oh, Kilo 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, so Kilo 10. I wouldn't want to risk giving them that instruction, though, and having them muck it up, so we'll just... Yeah. Let them get on with it, Chaz. Let them get on with it. We can turn all that back up if we need to. There it is. Such a conventional shape, the Boeing 777, but the nose doesn't sort of swoop down to a point. The nose is quite high on them. It sort of meets in the middle. It's a, it's a real perfect shape, I think. Love a 777. And then Sky Dubai is there, actually, just pushing back now. What type of aircraft is that? Is it a... Yeah, it's a Boeing 737 MAX 8 as they usually are. Let's just clear that off there, because for some reason it's still showing us where they're taxiing to. There's our two departures, and there really isn't a lot going on. <laughs> Which is not what I expected here at Dubai, to be honest. Dubai ground. Sky Dubai 33 ready to taxi. Good. Sky Dubai 33, runway 12 left via November. Runway 12 left via November. 
What taxiways are they? Is it like November 1, November 2, November 3? November 1, Alpha. November 1, Bravo. November 1, Charlie. Because that's Mike 1, Charlie. Mike 1, Bravo and Alpha. Come on, show me. Oh. All right. Dubai ground. Cashmere 2201 with information hotel. Cashmere. Requesting push and start. Okay. Well, you're going to push back in front of them, I imagine. So we're just going to wait for a moment. Is that is Keshem going to be the Air India Express? I suppose we may as well have a look. It's not. It's just Keshem Airlines. And again, gorgeous. Oh, excuse me. Gorgeous livery. Look at these lot here. That's a fantastic lineup, isn't it? Sounded like someone's starting to put a rattly old Cessna out there. Keshem 2201. Push back approved. Expect runway 12 left. Keshem Air 2201. Keshem. 2201 Keshem 2201 Heck Dubai ground. Let's do it on here Let's try this Ground 1 2 left push back approved Keshem Air 2201 Keshem Air 2201 Keshem Air That's what I was saying Emirates 934 cross runway 1 2 right Emirates 934 heavy, cross runway 12 right. Hecko. Any more arrivals? Oh, we have an arrival. Sky Dubai 822, which is going to be a 7378 max. Sky Dubai 33, runway 12 left, clear for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. There you go. Runway 12 left cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000 contact departure. Sky Dubai 33. Takeoff. Are you now waiting to cross that runway as well? No, because you shouldn't be. Emirates 934 heavy, continue taxi. Continue taxi. Emirates 934 heavy. Okay. That's fine. I thought I had to give them runway crossing clearance rather than just saying continue taxi in that scenario. There's Sky Dubai just there, taxiing onto the runway now and starting its takeoff roll. Keshem is pushed back and the tug will leave them in a sec and they'll call up ready for taxi clearance. Dubai ground. I'm here up to 584 heavy with information hotel. Requesting push and start. Emirates Dubai asking ground. for push and start. Away, there goes the Sky Dubai, Fly Dubai, Goodbye Dubai, 737. Emirates 584 Heavy, pushback approved, expect runway 1 to right. Keshem Air 2201. Keshem Air. Keshem Air 2201. What have I got to say? Keshem Air. Kashmir. Kashmir 2201. Kashmir 2201. Runway 12 left via November 3. Kashmir. Kashmir 2201. Kashmir 2201. Kashmir 2201. Kashmir 2201. Kashmir 2201. Kashmir 2201. Shut up. Keshem Air 2201. Keshem Air 2201. Runway 12 left via November 1 Alpha. Runway 12 left via November. Oni Alpha. Keshem Air 2201. Oni Alpha. Oh, that's because. Oh, okay. Sky I can explain that in a sec. Sky Dubai 822, runway 12 left, Clitterland. Uh, basically, one, when it said ONI, when you have a taxiway like November 3, November 2, November 1, it doesn't read it as the word one, it re just reads it as the syllables, so it reads it as ONI or TWO, and sometimes it can make for some very interesting call-outs that you need to make for it to understand what you mean. I don't quite get how it doesn't read it as a word, but still, that's just technology for you. Uh, Emirates Heavy is pushed back now, which should mean if I pop I'm outside the terminal. Heavy, ready to taxi. Yes, there are no aircraft on the main terminal here at <laughs> Dubai, which is just balmy. I don't know if that happens in the real world or not, but I still think that's mad. 
Emirates 584 Heavy, runway 12 right via Kilo. Runway 12 right via Kilo. Emirates 584 Heavy. This is the most chilled Dubai shift you'll ever see. It's very quiet. <laughs> Man. We need some of the interesting stuff from that terminal to start booting up. Oh, while I'm here, I want to check if a certain little madam is parked down here. I think I can already see it. I think... Oh. Oh, yeah, you're the one that came in. I can already see it. Dubai ground. A standalone 7418 with information hotel. Look at that. Oh, it's the blue one. I think there's a red one and a blue one. Yeah, little Dubai Air Wing 737. That's the 800 as well. Their blue one is the 800. They've got a red one that's a 700. And it's a right chunky little sodge. I love that. Great looking bit of kit. Did I ask Kesham to take off on 12 left? Or have I told them to take off on runway 12 right? There's Kesham. Asking to cross runway 12 left. Let's check. I've told them 12 left. Anyway, Sky Dubai's on approach. What were you? Oh, that's the thing that was next to the Omani one. What was it? Aristana 7418. Astana 71... Oh, Astana line 7418. Pushback approved. Expect runway 1-2 right. Nice. Kesham 2201. Kesham, 2201. Kusham, 2201. Kesham, 2201. Kesham, 2201. Kesham, 2201. I give up. I, I give up. One, two, right, push back approved. A standalone seven, four, one, oh, it's eight. going down there. It's gone Mike, one, one, Alpha. Two, left, line up and wait. Kesham Air, 2201. Sky Dubai 822, taxi to ramp via November Papa. Taxi to ramp via November Papa. Oh, I was saying Papa. Kesham rather Sky than Kesham Dubai Air, wasn't I? Kesham Air, 2201. Runway 12 left, clear for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. And don't f come back. Runway 12 left, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Kesham Air, 2201. Oh, the taxi straight across. Because they're going at... That aircraft has been nothing but annoying already. Here comes Le Heavy. We've literally got two Emirates 777s on the ground here at Dubai. There's like... That's, that's nothing. That is absolutely nothing. I didn't have a slider or anything turned down for 50% traffic, did I? I don't remember having anything like that. A standard line is going to be done in just a moment. Look at that. So they've gone... Down there, and then around, and then they're going to take off. Mad. Dubai ground. A Stanley oh. seven four one eight ready to taxi. A Stanley seven four one eight runway one two right via Kilo Zulu. Runway oh. one two right via Kilo Zulu. I thought Zulu was that one. No. A Stanley seven four one eight runway one two right via Kilo. Emirates 584 Heavy, runway 12 right, line up and wait. Runway and we're going to have is right that Indigo coming in soon, which is going to be an Airbus A320neo. Right, Emirates 584 Heavy. And there goes Kesham. Lovely looking aircraft, but I hope we don't see them again. <laughs> Bye bye. Dubai ground. What? Express India three four six with information hotel mm. requesting push and start. Well, you need to wait for Fly Dubai, Sky Dubai, Bye Dubai to go past you. Otherwise, you ain't going nowhere. Uh, let's get five eight four heavy out of here, shall we? Because they're ready to go. Emirates five eight four heavy runway one two right clear for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude one thousand contact departure. Lovely. Runway one Thank two you. right cleared for immediate takeoff. We've got upon another Emirates on the way in, which is another Boeing triple seven. 
They taxi really slowly. What? Ice line? Or is it I fly? Ice line 7 1. Runway 1 2 left clear to land. I fly, not I fly. Runway 1 2 left clear to land. I fly 7 1. Okay. Yeah, they taxi really slowly through Papa, so you have to wait quite a while for them to clear stuff there. Express India 346, pushback approved. Expect runway 1 2 left. And they taxi Ground. slowly here as well, by the look of it. Push back approved. There goes the 777. Express India 346. On its way up. Good job. I fly on its way in as well. And that is that, basically. We need to wait now for them to make their way down here. Looks like we have the Saudi Arabian 777 in its nav lights on, ready to go soon. No more nav lights from any of this lot, is there? The nav lights are the little green and red lights on the end of the wings. Whenever there's sort of anybody in the aircraft or whenever they start to go through the startup procedure, they will put those lights on anyway. Uh, nav and logo lights are the ones that usually come on, so the tail will light up as well with their logo visible. And that means that they're going to start getting ready to go, basically. When they're imminently ready to push back, then you'll see the beacon lights come on the aircraft, which is the red flashing light on the top and on the bottom. And that'll be your indicator to know that they're going to be calling up any moment. Okay. Emirates 9058 Heavy, runway 12 left, clear to land. And then we've got another one after runway that, which is an Airbus A380 that's coming in. Emirates 9058 Heavy. Express India 346, runway 12 left via November. Get them taxiing Run, out. One, two left, oh, right someone else just popped up. Express India three four six. What are you, Vista Jet? Dubai ground, Vista Jet nine two seven whiskey with information. Hotel requesting push and start. Vista Jet nine two seven whiskey pushback approved. Expect runway at one two left. My friend. Ground one two left. A lot of you know I've been approved. flying the Cessna Citation Vista quite a lot on Microsoft whiskey. Flight Simulator recently fallen in love with it and fallen in love with the whole idea of private jets and small aircraft like that. Astana line 7418. Runway 12 right. Cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000. Contact departure. Off you go mate. You've been a good boy. Get Run straight out of there shall right. we? Cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000. Uh, I fly Indigo is just touching down now. They may want to taxi down to here, actually, rather than taxiing over there. We'll have to see. I think they come down this side. They're touching down now. Let's just press that anyway, and you can see... Oh, they're going right in the corner where Astana line has come from. Let's have a little look at this Astana line again before it disappears. Very simple livery, but I do like it. I think the flag is Kazakhstan that is on that. A little flag by the cockpit windows. Off they go. And there is Indigo in their Airbus A320neo. Here we go. Here come the arrivals. Emirates 9028 Super, runway 12 left, clear to land. So we're getting arrivals in now, which is good. Clear to land. Emirates 9028 Super. Have we got clearance? Oh, we've not got enough time for them to get out of here. They're not finished taxiing yet. Vista Jet will be done in a second. Indigo 7-1. Taxi to ramp via Mike Lima 3. Oh. I fly 7-1. Taxi to ramp via Mike Lima 3 Kilo. Love it. That's a great path. Taxi Whoops. to ramp via Mike Lima. My bad. Kilo. I fly 7-1. Dubai and we've got Sky Dubai Vista as well. Ready to taxi. Okay, so let's get them off Papa and get them on November as soon as possible. Vista Jet 927 Whiskey, taxi to. No. Vista Jet 927 Whiskey, runway 12 left via November. Runway 12 uh. left via November. Vista Jet 927 Don't Whiskey. Don't spend so long taxiing down there, you cretin. Vista Jet 927 Whiskey, runway 12 left via Papa 4, November. 
So this should turn Runway there. One, two left, five papa, four November. Papa. Vista jet so nine, is that two, Papa seven, 5 whiskey. down there then, where they are now? Oh well, it doesn't matter. We have a Boeing 777 coming in for Emirates. We don't have a gap big enough, I don't think, to get India Express out of there, to be honest with you. We might have to wait for a gap in the arrivals, which does come after the Fly Dubai. Is that a 7-3 that's coming in? Yeah, they only have 7-3s. So we can wait for them. In Express India can wait for them as well. So VistaJet's going to taxi very slowly along there. And then they're going to turn there Everybody and then power. speed up again. Sky Dubai 44 on final one two yep. left. We've got you. Sky Dubai 44, runway 12 left, clear to land. So it's got a little bit busier. It's not crazy runway though, it's one still one very manageable. Clear to land. Sky Dubai 44. They're both on the ground. That Sky Dubai that I've got there, 822, is long gone. Uh, yeah, we do have a gap in the arrivals there, so we can just wait. We'll get those in first. Emirates 958 Heavy, taxi to ramp via Mike. Taxi Get them to along ramp there and then boom. Mike. Emirates 958 Heavy. They're going to ask to cross the runway in a little bit as well. Now we've got an A380 about to touch down somewhere. There she is. There's the big whopper. On its way in. I say there she is, but it's commonly referred to as the king of the skies, not the queen of the skies, like the 747. So there he is. We've got India Express waiting there. It's not a special livery one by the look of it. We have a couple of them in the game now with special liveries on. There's the Journey to the Future ones, which have this big black eye thing, big circle on the front of it. And then we've got Dubai the blue ones as well, Sky the Sim, uh, Sim Expo. No, just the Expo Hotel. ones. That's a normal one. Start. There we go. A380 in. What a whopper. So, yeah. iFly's taxiing all the way down there. They've not gone... Oh, it's Papa 4, isn't it? I've told them to turn out. I was going to say, they've not turned on to November yet. Sky Dubai 881, pushback approved. Expect runway 12 left. Round. One, uh, so left. they are pushback down. Approved. And we do have a gap. Sky Dubai 881. So if we want them to line up as soon as possible, we would say Express India 346, runway 12 left. Line up and wait behind next landing aircraft. Run, so they're still going to sit left, there. Line up and wait behind next landing aircraft. They're going to still wait. Express India 346. But then when the next plane touches down, goes over the threshold, they will then line up onto the runway behind them. Emirates 928 Super. Taxi to ramp via Mike Lima 4. Taxi to ramp via Mike Lima 4. Emirates 9 or 2 8 Super. Okay, and now VistaJet's turned on to November. They're going to taxi a lot quicker now. They're, you're going to see, you can see them speeding up, which is good. Makes life a lot easier because they're not waiting around forever. Look at the size of the A380 in comparison to the tiny little thing. What is that actually? What aircraft is it? It says C25C. Oh, it's a Challenger 600 series. We have another arrival coming in. But we can get the rest of them out very quickly. In between those two arrivals. That 777 will be turning any moment now. <laughs> and getting ready to cross runway 12 right. I can just tell them to do it beforehand and they won't wait. Emirates 958 Heavy cross runway 12 right. Let's see if cross they go across without one, stopping. Right. Emirates nine or five eight heavy. Dubai yeah. Round. Sky okay, Dubai cool. So if you tell them before they taxi. get to a point where they stop, they just go and do it anyway. You've given them clearance basically to continue on. And there you can see, look, Express India is now lining up behind the Fly Dubai seven eight seven that's just landed. Seven eight seven seven three seven. Sky Dubai eight eight one runway one two left via November. Runway one two left via November. Okay, Sky Indigo Dubai is going to be done one. any moment now. They've not been given clearance yet. That's fine. Let's wait for this seven three to turn off the runway. They should be turning left because that's usually where they park up there. 
It's another Boeing 7378 Max. And turning off the runway, they are. Oh, there we go. So now it's time to give the command. Express India 346, runway 12 left. Cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000. Contact departure. Runway 12 left. Cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000. Contact departure. Express India 346. And there's the A380 getting into its gate as well now. Now the jetways will connect to the aircraft and we've got traffic in the background, a nice little shot there. Dubai Tower, Sky Dubai 864 on final 12 left. Sky Dubai 211 pushback approved, expect runway 12 left. Vista Jet 927 Whiskey, runway 12 left, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000 contact departure. Let's get them out of here as well, shall we? Round 12 left, pushback approved. Skydy by, by 864, runway 12 left, clear to land. Skydy by 881, runway 12 left, line up and wait. Skydy by 44, taxi to ramp via November. Runway cool. 12 left, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000. I am happy. Departure. With Mr. this, like I say, it's not the busiest that it's ever Runway been here at Dubai. This isn't the busiest land. shift of the day. Sky I just thought Dubai I'd try this time of day and see what it was like. Runway As you see, it's very quiet. Sky Dubai to These two Dubai. might be a bit close Sky together for a lot of people's liking. They're lining up while they're taking off. That's not so bad. That's a right little chubber, isn't it? Today. A little aircraft like that accelerate like mad. You've seen what it's like in my citation. Vista Jet is taking its sweet time and it needs to hurry up, to be honest with you. Because I can't clear them for takeoff until they've gone. Why are you taking forever? You slow little sausage. Can't see. Cut that out. Come on, crack on. Get on with it. They're rotating at what seems like no speed. How are we looking? Oh, we're alright. We've got a few seconds to clear them. And by a few seconds, I mean probably about 20. Sky Dubai 881, runway 12 left. Cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000 contact departure. Have we got a situation Runway happening here? No, we do not have a situation, which is good. I was worried they were going to wait for them and they wouldn't go because of them. And then they'd try and turn that way. But no, we're alright. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Who was that, sorry? Omer 610. Pushback approved. Expert runway 12 right. That's how it sounded. Sky Dubai 211, runway 12 left via November. Ground, 12 right, pushback approved. Oman Air 610. Yeah, he does, does say Oman Air, but November. his Sky accent Dubai made it sound a bit weird. Uh, let's just have a quick check of what we've got on the ground. So we've got nothing, literally nothing on the ground that's come in. 864 is on approach, and that's the only one that we've got on the arrivals on the strips now. So we've actually cleared quite a lot of traffic in the last minute or so from our airfield. Sky Dubai has just touched down as well. That's number 864, so we can go down to the strips and then pop that one over there. We have a Pakistan International Airways. What was that? An A320 on its way in. Interesting. Pakistan PIA used to fly into Manchester quite a lot, but they haven't flown over here for a long, long time now, and it's a shame because it's a lovely looking airline. Interesting aircraft. They just don't fly over here anymore. We used to have, I think, two or three Pakistan Airline jumbos every day, and they were fantastic. We then got triple sevens and a lot of big stuff from them, but again, no more, unfortunately. We've got a big old gap here, so we can get Sky Dubai out of here. Sky Dubai 211, runway 12 left, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Giving that departure command really does help me. Oman Air 610, runway 12 right by Kilo. 
to get them taxis in. Runway one, two, right, bra, kilo. Fly Dubai eight six four, isn't it? Zero. Sky Dubai eight six four, taxi to ramp via November. They're literally parking where two one one just came from as well. November. There goes the Sky Dubai seven three seven. I'm still staying in the rhythm of calling it Sky Dubai, even though I know the airline is Fly Dubai. Just because that's what we have to call them when it comes to the professional communication. Off they go. It's a shame about the propeller noises at this airport because there's not really anything of that type. There's some red beacon lights over there on something. That's one of the Gulf Streams, I think. They're going to be telling us that they're ready to go in just a sec. They're going to pop up just here, I think they will be. Oman Air is taxiing out. It's going to be nice to see that 737 go. And then we've got, of course, the Dubai Fly Tower, Dubai Pakistan 731. 213 on final one two left. Pakistan 213, runway 12 left, clear to land. Good to see you, my friend. Runway 12 left, clear to land. Pakistan 213. Not seen one of their A320s before, actually, so it'll be nice to see what that looks like. I'm still amazed at how quiet it is. <laughs> We've got a few logo lights and nav lights there. I think that Ethiopian 787 will be next to go. Or I think it was it an A350 actually. There's a couple of things there with nav lights on as well. And we're not going to see anything down that way with any nav lights on, are we? Although, no. The Emirates 777 that came in still has its nav lights on. So they might be ready to go very sharpish. Dubai ground. <laughs> it's just, you could, I literally started saying, as if to say, start. still waiting for that to pop up on here. And in doing so, I've forgotten what they were called. <laughs> ground, one, two, left, pushback approved. Kyrex Ninna seven. What? Kyrex? Kyrex nine seven. Kyrex nine seven. What on earth were you? Lovely looking plane, but no idea what you are, what airline you are or anything. Sky Dubai 620, runway 12 left, clear to land. Then we've got another Emirates coming in, another 777. Sky Dubai 620. Carex. Oman Air 610, runway 12 right. Cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000. Contact departure. They're just here. Runway 12 right. Cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000. Contact departure. Oman Air 610. That's a lovely 737, that, isn't it? Really like that livery. You can see what I mean about the logo light, by the way. The tail has a glow in the middle of it, so they all have lights that point up at the tails to show you what airlines they are in the dark, basically. And even during the day, you still operate with those lights on. So that's a 737 8 Max. Off it goes. Bye, mate. Right, now we need to look at what you are. Is it Quidderex or something like that? Quidditch 9907. I'm joking. Quidderex 9907. I can't. I, I can't. I just can't. Dubai Tower, I'm here at 706 heavy on final 12 left. Runway 12 left by November. Quidderex 997. Quidderex. It sounds like it says Quidderex. Quidderex 997. We know what it is now. Curex. Like Jurex, but not. Pakistan 213. Taxi to ramp via Mike Lima 3. And then we've got another Taxi NetJets. Via Mike Lima 3. NetJets 201. Ooh, what's their call sign going to be? Because that's NetJet. ExecJet. Exec okay. I should have known that. Start. We've dealt with them before. Exetjet 201, pushback approved, expect runway 12 right, left. <laughs> Exetjet 201, pushback approved, expect runway 12 left. Ground, 12 left, pushback approved. Oh, look at that. That's a very different livery to what I remember on the Pakistan A320. That's gorgeous, man. 
They used to just have a little Pakistani flag on the tail and like a sort of creamy colour on the rear end of the aircraft, but that's gorgeous. Oh, I hope they all look like that. That's stunning. Here's Fly Dubai on its way in. Emirates 706 Heavy, runway 12 left, clear to land. We haven't given them clearance yet. Runway My bad. Let's just quickly check what have we got on the ground. PIA 213 and then 620. Uh, so it's just those two. So Fly Dubai is gone. And we've not got Emirates on the ground yet because obviously they're still on the way in. We're going to get Sky Dubai 1210 calling up in just a sec. That's going to be the last aircraft we're going to deal with here because I've been recording for nearly an hour now. Even with the mistakes earlier on that I had to then re-explain. But there would have been a question over the course of this video as to which of these aircraft was dealt with within what minute on the top right of the screen just up here. All I need is the time there and there. I don't need the exact seconds or anything, but the hour and the minute, and that's all I want from you. So don't forget, do that. Put your Discord username in as well, and then if you get it right, we'll contact you regarding a giveaway, and hopefully you'll get yourself a code for this aircraft, a product code if you don't have it already. In a couple of videos' time, we'll do the same with Las Vegas as well, so do not worry if you've not got that airport yet, and you do want to wait a little bit longer, then wait for the video and you can win it then. Sky Dubai 1210, runway 12 left, clear to land. Runway 12 left, clear to land. Sky Dubai 1210. I'm going to wait to tell them to the taxi just in case QRX turns left there, which I think it's going to. Dubai ground, exec jet 201, ready to taxi. Mm, no, it's not. Okay. Sky Dubai 620, taxi to ramp via November. That could be risky because they may speed taxi in front of them. Exec Jet 201, runway 12 left via Papa 6, November. Exec Jet 201, runway 12 left via Papa 5, November. Oh, so that is Papa 5. Runway 12 left via okay, Papa so what's that then? November. Exec Jet 201. There's another Boeing 777 coming in for Emirates, touching down now. Nice big wagon. And they are now on the ground. Sky Dubai is going to be next. And then we're going to say... Yeah, look at the speed difference there between those two. You can see it there, look. Look at the speed difference on those taxiways. Wow. It's cool that the game observes that, though. I like that detail. Again, look at the size of a 777 compared to that sort of thing. It's mental. But they're going to crack on past all of that, so they're going to definitely clear them. And I think they might turn left there as well, you know. So we could be all good here. Suspense is killing me. No, they've carried on. Sky Ooh. Dubai 27 with information Sorry. hotel. Requesting <laughs> push and start. Oh, it's fine. They've cleared them. They're in front of them anyway. Emirates 706 Heavy. Taxi to ramp via Lima 5. Taxi to ramp via Lima 4 miles. <laughs> Emirates 706 Heavy. Emirates 706 Heavy. Taxi to ramp via Lima 4. Just, just do that. Taxi to ramp via Lima 4. Can't say. Oh. Ow. Tower, heavy on final one to left. Emirates 902 heavy, runway 12 left, clear to land. And unfortunately, everybody, runway our final left, landing is about land. to make its way in, which is going to be Sky Dubai 1210, and here they are now on their arrival. Gear down last minute, as we love. 737 MAX 8 is down on the ground. And that's going to be it from us here at Dubai. As displayed by this angle here, a very, very quiet shift here at Dubai compared to what we've seen before. But still, we got to see some of the wonderful aircraft that you get here, some of the A380s, the 777s, and the gorgeous airlines, of course, of Dubai, the private jets, and obviously a lot of Sky Dubai as well. Uh, Keshem involved in that too. We didn't get to see the Ethiopian A350 in the end, unfortunately, or the 787 or even A330, I think that is, of Chibu. Is it Chibu or Cebu Pacific? Anyway... 
I hope you enjoyed that. It was just something a little bit different. You know, I don't want to always throw massive shifts at this and always do silly schedules and stuff. Just a quick stint at an airport like this at a random time of day where it could throw something busy at us or something quiet. It's just what I want to pump out content-wise going forward. But I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. Like I say, put your Discord usernames and your answers to the question in the comments and eventually we will pick a winner for that and we'll contact you via discord as for now though thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you in the next one